Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, and I am a soul sculptor. <laughs> I help you break the mold. So good evening. I wanted to share a couple of things about intuition and how it helps me be a better coach, how that helps you. Um, so today I went up to Rosamond, which is my old stomping grounds in the desert, to get my hair done. And I was going to go visit uh, a friend's mother who is in the uh, last stages of her life. And I go and I sit with her and hold her hand and talk to her and hug her and, you know, just spend some time with her. So before I deposited myself on her doorstep, I thought, well, I better go get something to eat. And I went to one restaurant, and it was recommended to me by my hairdresser. And when I walked in, I wanted a salad, and I asked what kind of lettuce they used, and she told me iceberg. Well, I don't eat iceberg lettuce anymore. There's, you might as well drink a glass of water. There's no food value in it. So I said, well, thank you very much. I'll find another place. And my guidance was telling me to go to this little Thai restaurant that has wonderful a Tom Kagai soup, which is one of my favorites. It's very soothing and very um, just warms my body. And it was a rainy day today in California. So I uh, went to that restaurant. And it, it's a pretty small restaurant and run by a family, lovely food. And I sat down and I was texting and messaging with six different people <laughs> between Facebook and, and, uh, and my text messaging and helping all these different people that are having relationship issues. And there were a group of four people in the restaurant. And I know they noticed me. And as I got up to leave, I heard in my head, leave them a business card. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, you know, why should I leave them a business card? And, and I hear again, well, they might need you. And as I'm getting out the door, this young lady, and I guess she's maybe 18, 19, she leapt out of her seat and opened the door for me. And I thought, wow, that was really lovely. She didn't need to do that. I could have opened the door myself. I really appreciated it. But I knew it was significant. So one of the things that I'll say about intuition is I notice small things. So I knew that they had already been talking about me. I didn't know what they were saying about me. But the fact that this young lady jumped up and opened the door for me caught my attention. So I go out the door with my food and, my, and sit in my car ready to back out. And they are parked directly across from where I'm parked. So I'm looking at the driver, a man, and he smiles and he waves at me. And again, I hear, give them a business card. So I'm halfway out of my spot and I jump out of the car, take a couple of business cards, hold my finger up, don't leave yet. I walk over to the car. Again, the young lady jumps out of the car <laughs> and and I said, I just felt like I should leave you a, a business card or two. You might know somebody that needs my help. I help people be happy. And the women in the back seat go, are you a psychic? And I, I said, well, I guess you could say that. And they go, give me the card. And But the gentleman in the front seat was the one who had my attention. And his eye was twitching. And a twitching eye means to me the man was under some stress. So I gave him the card. I said, you might know somebody that needs this. And he looks at me and he says, my wife just died. So I act on my intuition. I listen to the best of my ability. And I reach out to those who are lit up for me. And this man was clearly lit up for me. So I asked him if I could touch him. And I, I put my hand on his wrist. And I gave him a little squeeze, sent him some energy. And 
I looked him in the eyes. I said, you know, I'm not trying to hit on you. And he goes, darn. <laughs> you know, I, I, I knew he was just teasing. But um, I said to him, please do call me. You know, even if it's just to talk. Uh, losing a spouse is very traumatic. Losing a boyfriend is very traumatic. I know I've experienced that. So I'm very compassionate to loss and grief. And um, my intuition is something that I use in my coaching. So I'm guided to go to places that people may not want to go to. And I, I just finished up with a client, my Friday night client, who... You know, I've been working with for a few weeks, and one of the things that I am working on with her is having more trust in her guidance. And one of the ways we do that is we have to have confidence in ourselves, and we have to have faith. The confidence in ourselves is coupled with trust, because we have to trust that that guidance that you get is accurate. So this is a lady I, I talked about her uh, previously where she asked, did her boyfriend love her? And there was a string on the floor and she kicked it with her foot and it went into a heart. And she messaged me and she asked, was it just my imagination that that string turned into a heart? She had been asking for a sign. And there the universe gives her a sign and she doubts it. So. We have to have strong confidence in ourselves to be able to trust the intuition that we get. All of us have intuition. It is not from the devil. It is a gift. And it is something that all humans, just like Jesus, are gifted with. Intuition is a gift. It's a God-given gift. And the way we develop it is by trusting it by utilizing it, by following it. And that's something that I help my clients do. So I'm going to cut this short. I am going to create another video after this, a different subject. So I hope you'll stay with me, but I hope that you've enjoyed this. Intuition is something that we all have, and it will help us have a magical life when we follow it. Because trusting that intuition opens wonderful doors and it guides us along the path and makes life so much more joyful and easy. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thanks for watching. I love you.